Yo, what is going on guys here? This is Xbuzzer Man, and today I got for you a desktop side chat on how to gain more subscribers. But first, what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the gameplay in the background. It is by Crazy Adam Cresswell. I stole this completely off of him, so go copyright strike me, Crazy Adam Cresswell. Uh, go check out his channel. He does really good Let's Plays. Uh, this is a Nuzlocke Pokemon Leaf Green version. I'm pretty sure that's all explanatory on the video right there and it's really fun really entertaining to watch he's a great guy so go check him out the link will be in the description or uh, maybe an annotation probably not because i'm really lazy um so let's go ahead and get on started with the video and we're going to be teaching you guys how to get more subscribers and this is a question i get all the time i get guys who are stuck at around you know 100 subscribers or less they don't know how to get out of that 100 subscriber trap we'll call it the 100 subscriber trap because a lot of YouTubers, you know, they can gain, you know, about 50 subscribers, but they don't know what to do after that. Maybe they're telling their friends, they get about 50 friends, and uh, friends and family, people like that, and they don't know what to do after that because really you're not going to gain much recognition by uh, other people, people you don't know if you don't know what to do. And uh, what I did was I actually did not tell any friends. I only told one friend, and that is uh, Duraco Do himself. And that's about it. So I didn't use any friends to get all these subscribers. I just basically found you guys, met you guys, and uh, that's the, that's all she wrote. And uh, what we're what I'm going to be telling you guys to, to how to do is how to get subscribers from random people, people you haven't met yet, and how to get past that 100 subscriber trap and start gaining subscribers really fast. Um, so what I'm going to be telling you the most successful ways that I have found, and that definitely has to be the video quality and what kind of videos I produce. Um, it's not just about producing the greatest video of all time, it's producing the video that gets views, the video that can get popular. YouTube can be a business it can, and it can be a game and you gotta make it a game sometimes, you know. You might have fun on YouTube six of the seven days but that seventh day of YouTube, you know, that one video a week, you gotta create a video that can really get you a lot of views, views that you really think um, can get you subscribers because views leads to subscribers. That's how I'm getting tons and tons of subscribers, probably about you know 90 a day, just because of all the the random strangers I've met. I've not found any better way of getting subscribers than doing strategies that I've already done. So um, what I'm trying to talk to you about basically is you got to make a viral video, and I've stressed that so much on my channel. And uh, I cannot stress that any anymore. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a viral video right now. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to vi find a video that you would personally click on. Don't create a super huge long uh, title that just no one wants to read. That's really, really bad. You know, uh, maybe you're trying to teach a guy the best Clash of Clans base of all time. You can't say best Clash of Clans base of all time. It is so good. You got to try this out. I tried this out on three of my friends and it really works. And yeah, yada, yada, yada. Or yeah, that's just way too long and people don't want to read that. Um, another thing is don't be too vague. Don't be like, say you're making a how to video. Maybe how to find diamonds on Minecraft. Don't be like, how to find diamonds. That's not going to get you any views because that's really not going to be picked up by anything. And who wants to read a video that says, how to find diamonds? You got to create a convincing title that will get people to come to your video. A really good way that I, I've found is I've tried to think of things that I would personally click on. Maybe I'm doing a video, a viral video. I'm trying to make a viral video. I'll go click on... Um, I'll go search the video that I'm doing, uh, search that in the YouTube section and see what I would personally click on. Um, what I mean by that is maybe I wanted to do a top five, let's just do a, let's say a how to find diamonds in Minecraft. Um, I wouldn't click on the ones that say, say how to find diamonds in Minecraft. The ones I would personally click on would be the ones that say how to find diamonds in Minecraft fast because the word fast really gets people going they want to click on it because it's like faster than probably this guy that just says how to find diamonds so uh, you got to think of what video would someone else click on and what video would you click on would you click on the one that says how to find diamonds or how to find diamonds fast you got to think like that guys you got to think you got to make descriptive adjectives that really help people click on the videos look at advertisements look at things like that, of that nature they use certain words and word constructions that get people to click on or go over to their website so think of 
you know, things like fast, like better, like best, words like that that really kind of get you to go over and click on those kind of videos. The next thing you want, once, once you find out a great title, you know, what I did was Minecraft 1.7.9, how to find diamonds fast. And what that did is I showed the year because people don't want to see a 2010 video when it's 2014. They want to see the most up-to-date strategy to finding diamonds. So what you got to do is you got to put 2014, the latest version of whatever game you're playing, and then you put fast. Uh, that's just an, an example. Maybe you're trying to do something like Call of Duty, how to, uh, I guess, how to have a great kill-death ratio. Notice how I say great. Um, you know, you wouldn't say how to get a high KD in Call of Duty or how to get how to get lot more kills in Call of Duty. You're going to say how to get a high KD in Call of Duty faster or how to get a high Call of Duty uh, tips to tips. You know, that word, the word tips might well help well um, or something like how to get a better KD in Call of Duty in depth maybe something like that uh, I'm not really sure I'd have to think up a title really try to put some effort and time into your your title the way you think about that now the next thing to do is to tag your video really well and what I mean by that is you're gonna need to find tags or certain keywords that would get you on the front page the front page of that that YouTube search is what you're going for what I mean by that is uh, you know when you you try, type in a certain video, you see the first page, like maybe you search for how to find diamonds, we're just going to use that as an example. Uh, you're going to see a page full of YouTube videos, and then you can see the, the one, two, three, four, five next. You know, you can go on to the, the second, third, fourth page. What you're trying to do is you're trying to find the video, you're trying to be one of the first ones on that page. And how you get on there is by how well you tag and how, how well you get your likes up. Um, so if you can tag really well using good keyword tags don't be like how to find diamonds in minecraft that's already in your title your title is a tag in its own so don't repeat your title in your tags description maybe go something off the branch like how to find emeralds how to find stone strongholds do things that are, are related to minecraft really specific and in-depth the more specific a keyword you have the more specific the search will be so if it's 1.7.9 put how to find diamonds 1.7.9 how to find diamonds fast how to mine in minecraft you know do things that are related to that search that way if that maybe someone's searching how to mine real fast in uh minecraft they will they might see your video because you're tagged it just like that and you gotta ask for likes guys try to get likes on that video because the more the better like to dislike ratio you have the way 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 easier it is to get on that front page if you look at some of my top videos they all have a good like to dislike ratio they all have a really good title and they all have really just they're all on the front page they're all on the front page of that YouTube search so if you type in you know top five Minecraft parodies no 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 I don't think that was that one might be on the front page do top five Minecraft mods time five, top five Minecraft roller coasters uh, you'll see my video on the top page right there that's because I use tags I use a good title and I use really good descriptions um, you know I did how to top five epic Minecraft roller coasters that word epic really gets people to go and click on that video uh, th the last and final thing to getting a good viral video is your thumbnail. Now, if you just put how to find diamonds in Minecraft and you, it shows you with a diamond pick or just a pick, that's not going to be any attractive at all. Make a custom thumbnail. If you don't want to do that, make find a really good picture that's really kind of leading into the video and shows them what they're looking for. Maybe some diamonds everywhere, uh, finding a guy finding diamonds, just put topics that relate to your thumbnail a thumbnail that looks really attractive and something you would want to click on don't stick to those old random custom thumbnails you know one of the best strategies I found for that top five minecraft roller coasters was I found a really big view of one of the roller coasters and it showed off what what was going to be in the video and they thought it was going to be awesome and uh, it turned out to be that's one of my most successful videos and it's one of my crappiest videos so that's pretty much about it. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to find more viral videos. The more the viral video will lead into your uh, your subscriber count. 
just keep following up I recommend try to make one really high quality viral video a week and you should be really good to go guys and for those guys who only have 50 or less subscribers what I recommend doing is sharing that video with other youtubers go and find youtubers on YouTube it's really easy all you have to do is type in minecrafting the, the video search and find guys with around the same amount of subscribers as you you know 50 or less maybe you have 50 try to find 50 guys who have 50 or less subscribers share the video with them but don't be spammy be like hey man uh, I'd like some crit criticism on this or create friends with him just get your get that video more views it takes about uh, about 500 views for the video to start really you're not gonna have to work on it as much anymore and uh, that's pretty much about it um, yeah uh, I hope you guys really get some good advice off of this I'll probably make another how to get more subscribers video just because my my viewpoints really change over the years as I'm gaining more subscribers so thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time and later